This is going to be a basic overview of parallel rack refrigeration. And we're going to define what parallel rack refrigeration is here. So all three of these compressors on this rack are piped together in parallel, which means the discharge and suction are all tied together. These discharge lines drop down to that main discharge line at the bottom of the screen and go over into one common discharge line into an oil separator and then up to the condenser. So we're going to skip over a lot of components in this and just go over the basics. So discharge goes over to the condenser and it's coming back out the liquid line. It's coming back up and over and down to the receiver which on this rack is located underneath but they can be remotely located as well. So all of these compressors share the same refrigerant charge and the same oil charge. And then it goes to the liquid dryer out of the receiver. And then this has a remote liquid header, which makes this much easier to film, but it doesn't have to be remote. It can be on top of the rack. So as you can see, the liquid is going down to all the loads, the cases and walk-ins, and it's constantly feeding all of them. There's no valves on the liquid, although some racks will have valves on the liquid. And behind that, we got our suction lines coming back with our EPR valves. In this case, they're electronic. And those are regulating the suction gas to achieve 100% runtime in between defrost, or at least that's the idea. And then it all ties back into this common suction header, which goes down and around. And this is where it gets hard to film. But back behind the compressors, it's tied in the suction side on each compressor. So that's your basic overview of the piping and the idea of the system. There's a lot more stuff going on to make it all work correctly. We could start here with the oil separator and oil reservoir, which are key components to be able to share the oil charge between three compressors. So we need to get the oil out of the gas and back to the compressors. But we're going to go into detail on all the components and even more than we've talked about in this video, but this is just going to be a very basic overview. So the main idea is to keep compressors running as long as possible, share the refrigerant charge and the load, and try to have 100% runtime between defrosts. And there's different ways of accomplishing this, which we will get into in future videos. I'm going to try to keep them all short, but if there's any specific questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing, you can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.